Welcome to Cooking with Mom. Let me start over. Welcome to Cooking with Mom. Say hello, Mom. Hello, baby. Hello! In this episode of Cooking with Mom, we make... In this episode of Cooking with Mom, we make... We make what? What you say, babe? I forgot. In this episode of Cooking with Mom, we make... Baby. Alright, you definitely want to do this before you cook anything. I'm gonna wash my hands. Oh, this water's hot. What are we making today? What are we making today? We making cookies. It's, they're called gravy. Uh, Sounds exciting. Today we're gonna make gravy. And you need for that stuff four cups of confectionery sugar. Four cups of butter Crisco. Eight cups of all-purpose flour. BAM! Alright, we got our four cups of butter Crisco right here. Putting in our four cups of confectionery sugar right now. You mix the confectionery sugar and the butter to get like a um, very creamy. <laughs> Now you gotta put in the eight cups of flour. Super exciting. Now what is that? That's butter flavoring. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon, a tablespoon of this. And what's that? That's a lemon. I'm gonna add about a, te a teaspoon of lemon. And now I'm going to mix it by hand. You just have to keep working it, working it, till it becomes a dough. I roll it into logs, then I put it in the fridge for an hour. We can cut it up as just a simple cookies, or I'll show you. Cut the logs out? Yeah, and cut it like they do, the ones you buy in the store. Okay. So, Mom, what did we just do with the three ingredients? Let's start from the beginning. Take one cup of confectionery sugar, one cup of butter Crisco, whip them together. When they become like a cream, add two cups of flour. Just a half a teaspoon of butter flavoring. Whitman is the best. I think that's what it's called. A flavoring of lemon, it gives it excellent taste. It's not necessary, but it's your choice. Now, I took, uh, after I made the dough, I put it in the fridge till it got kind of firm. After you mix the flour, sugar, and Crisco, you just want to let it sit for an hour. If it's hot outside, say, I don't know, 80 degrees around, you want to put it in the fridge. Right now it's winter time. You don't need to put it in the fridge, but if it gets too cold, it'll get brittle and it's hard to work with. I took, the, uh, I made it into log, and, and we can see the log, right? It's the log. Okay, here's the log. And I then... cut it in half because I'm making, I made four times recipe. Yes, I sliced it into little pieces. It's they're a little too big, so I'm gonna take about this much, and I'll. Roll it like this. Like this. Then we're gonna put it in the pan. You roll it just like your favorite Play-Doh, uh, whatever you used when you were a kid. Mom, did you have Play-Doh when you were a kid? No, we played with real dough. Spoken from the words of a true chef. Yep. And <laughs> and then you do that for the rest of this. So I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, start doing that. All right, give me one of uh, give me one of those. No, I'm just gonna cut them to the right size for you. But I got. I, but then I'm not doing. It. 
Alright. Next, I'm going to take one of these. I just washed my hands. I'm going to break off a little bit because these are a little big. And you roll it like, just like you're making worms with your Play Doh or whatever you do when. Damn it. Whatever you did when you were a kid, so um, I'm not I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this at all. So I think I'm I think I'm pressing it too hard. I got a I got a little rolling thing right here. So it's actually just a cutting board. It's got my finger imprints in it though. How do you do it without the finger imprints? Because you know because your palm not with your fingers. Oh is that good? Okay, that one is so big. That we can make a Kringle with it. A what? What do you call it here? Pretzel shape. Oh, okay. Like that? Mm -hmm. Should I just start over? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. This one just broke apart. This is, this is uh, actually really difficult. It's not as simple as it is. It is not as simple as playing with Play-Doh. It is not as simple as Play-Doh food. Cannot do this with the Play-Doh food maker. Oh, I'm putting too much pressure. Damn. Is it flattening on you? Yeah. It's getting like, yeah, you know. Just watch. This is going to fall in a second. No, it's not. Alright, so here we go. So you can move your cutting board. I'm really... I'm really trying to do this. Check it out! You did, you did. Right, oh my gosh. This is gonna break when I try and show the camera. I already know. don't want to push on you barely want to push on it the rolling does the work for you when you start pushing on it is when it starts getting too thin and disfigured oh see look that's already looking better look at this mm -hmm. it's already looking better all right oh. i'm still working on the first one over here really gonna focus here. Okay. Focus in. See, it's like it broke in the center. I didn't do it. Wait till we make the baklava. Yeah. Wait till we make the baklava. Next week, we make baklava. Baklava. I'm not that Greek crap. We don't put raisins in it. Don't you know? Okay, I won't put the Greek part in there. Yeah. Okay, I still have not successfully made one of these. Meanwhile, uh, main star of Cooking with Mom has made 22. I'm the co-star in Cooking with Mom. My name is not Mom. You can call me son. It's just, it look, look, where's the camera? It just does that. Oh, and the lights went out. Watch this. <laughs> That's why they call me the Fonz. And it worked. I like that. No, I got it. Good for some. Alright, so my first tray is completed. Uh, fourth ingredient is optional. It's called... Snowbar. Okay, so it's called it's Snowba. Pine nuts looks like that. I just dropped a couple. Take one and put it where you join the cookie. And be careful not to break or ruin it. It's them. okay to push it down on it. Where can you find this stuff at your local Mediterranean food store? Uh, even the grocery store, no Walmart, I don't have it. Yeah, you can, you can get it. You get the Snowbar. Get the snowbar, whatever it's called. You get a Walmart uh, nowadays. Let me, let me get you a better camera angle on this. 
I've been demoted from trying to roll these to just putting the pine nuts. <laughs> you get where's the? Yeah, I've been demoted to just putting the pine nuts on poorly. In the time it took me to roll one, a head chef here, mom has done two trays. So uh, now I just put these pine nuts in. It's a pretty good job. So this is what your tray is gonna look like when you're done. So you wanna preheat the oven to 350 degrees and we put our snoo bars on there or whatever. And then it uh, goes in the oven. We're gonna keep it in there for 15 minutes, give or take. You need to check on it. Um, yeah, I don't know, just eat one and see if it is good or not. Here is our finished product. You wanna say anything about it? I don't know, I'm gonna say he's awake. We are cooking for the big boys. We cooking, we doing real cooking here. Thank you for watching.